don't see me as a Fulani man. Atiku appeals to Benue people for forgiveness. Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has commenced moves to reconcile with the people of Benue State ahead of the 2023 presidential elections. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us once again on the channel. Now we'd like to say a very big welcome to you all. If you're joining us for the first time, please do well to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Now to all of our existing subscribers, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our post as they come your way. Um, thank you and God bless you. Well, we see that ahead of the 2023 elections, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, seems to be retracing his steps and um, he has considered to actually reconcile with the, the powerful group, the people of Benue State. Now, we know that uh, the people of Benue State have actually faced a lot of mayhem under the hands of the Fulani Airsmen. We know that there have been a lot of killings and um, maiming in their communities by the so-called Fulani Airsmen. And the people of Benue State actually um, have these grievances against the Fulani people. And we know that they have faced a lot of troubles, a lot of destruction. Their villages have been destroyed. So many of them have been displaced from their homes. Families have lost their lives, children, women, and all of that. And the Benue state people actually do not want uh, anything to have to do with the Fulanese. If in their rights, in their right um, ju um, jurisdiction, we know that um, they would have strong grievances against um, the Fulani people. Well, Atiku, actually in retracing his step, has reached out to the Benue state people and said that they should not see him as a Fulani man, but they should see him as Atiko Abubakar in Nigerian, and um, he's pleading their forgiveness and asking for their votes um, come 2023. Well, let's go into the details in full and let us see. Now, it says ahead of the 2023 general election, the People's Democratic Party PDP's presidential candidate, Alhaji Atiku Abubakar, is making a reconciliation move now in benue state atiko appealed to its people not to see him as a full animal but as himself and who he has always been now he stated that his administration would be built on the principles of the rule of law and inclusive uh, governance now the presidential candidate of the people's democratic party um, has begun fresh moves to redeem his image in the sight of the Benue people ahead of the 2023 presidential election. Um, now, the former vice president who spoke on Thursday at the 62nd Synod of the Universal Reformed Christian Church, aka NKST at Onka in Benue State, has said that he would continue to solidly stay behind the people of Benue even in turbulent um, times. Now, um, he was duly represented by his Professor Hiworu Sehaga and Honorable Chile Igbawa of the PDP Campaign uh, Council. Now, Atiko stated that his administration will be built on the solid foundation of the rule of law. He said, my party, the PDP, is sensitive to the balance of power between Christianity and Islam in this country. For us to have a good life where peace is assured and we are guaranteed liberty and pursuit of happiness. Those who fail to respect our religious diversity have done it with usual impunity. They will not get away with it this time around. Atiku, however, have peeled that the people of Benue should not see him as a full man, but as Atiku Abubakar. Now, as reported by Vanguard, he reminisced on the role he played 
during the pogrom at Zaki Bayam and Beji and Ador, and how he stood solidly behind the people of Benue State in those trying times. Atiku said, we walked the streets of Zaki Bayam the day it happened, condemning the anti tv violence and were vindicated years later when the army apologized. I am still the same person, the Zegemil Tiv. I can assure you that when you elect me president, no Nigerian citizen will stay in bed, unable to sleep because of foreign and domestic terrorists. Now that is it on the details of the report and we see that um, Atiku Abubakar is actually taking reconciliation steps with the people of um, Benue State and we can see that he is seeking um, for their forgiveness and saying that um, he is one of them and that the Benue people should not see him as a Fulani man but as a Nigerian as Atiku Abubakar himself and that um, they should vote for him come 2023. And he is promising that um, his government would actually be on the rule of law and his um, government will actually be an inclusive one where everybody is actually free to practice the religion that they desire to. And then, like he said, he said that um, they would not get away with it. Like those people that have failed to respect uh, our various religious um, diversity will not um, get away with it when he has been elected into power and he says that um, his party the PDP is actually um, being sensitive to the balance of power between the Christians and the Muslims in this country and according to him his party is one that wants to make sure that Nigerians have actually live a good life where peace is assured where people do not have to be um, afraid uh, where people can actually live in their homes, wake up, sleep and wake up peacefully without having the thoughts that um, terrorists or whatever will come to attack them even in their homes and in their communities and in their villages. And attack and Tiku is making all of these promises um, to the Bedouin state people saying that um, if he is elected as a, a president come 2023 um, that all of this would actually um be brought into play and he said that his administration actually be one that would be um, built on the principles of the rule of law and inclusive government um for everyone and um that is it on the details of this report well that's all we can take um for this report until we'll come your way next time with more um news happenings around the country um do well to stay safe bye bye